What is up guys, it's RKT here, welcome back to another video. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple stock market simulator program in Python 3. So you can actually see the entire program right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the demo. Okay, so I have my program running now, and it says, Welcome to a stock market simulator. Your goal is to gain money at the end of the 8 rounds. Type in positive numbers to buy stock, and negative numbers to sell stock. How much stock do you want to buy or sell? Stock price is at 6, money is 100, plus your current stock value of 0, because I have stock owned at 0, rounds remaining is 8. So, the stock price can be anywhere from 1 to 50, so 6 isn't that bad of a price. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy 10 of those. Alright, so then we'll say the stock price has increased to 9, money equals 40, plus our current stock value is 90 right now. So, I think I'm going to buy a little bit more stock because 9 is still relatively low and we have plenty of rounds remaining to sell it all off. So, I'm going to buy, hmm, I'll buy 3 of the 9s. Right, the stock price is now 25, so we can sell all the stock that we have, so that's minus 13. There we go. So now we have some money. How much stock? Okay, so now the stock price is at 43, so we don't really want to buy any at 43. That's pretty expensive, so I'm going to say zero. Now it's at five, so let's buy about 60, I believe, we can buy. All right, it's gone up to 37. Uh, thank you, yes, I'll take that. Any day of the week. Stock price is at 41, which is unfortunate. We could have, um, we could have gained some money there. But 41, we got two rounds remaining. That's not that much. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to bypass it all to the end. There we go. We gained $2,158. We're rich, guys. That is the entire program, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the code and actually how you're going to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some comments up here. We're going to import all the modules that we're going to need for this program. And the only uh, module we're going to need for this program is the random module. Next, we're going to set a whole lot of variables up here. So stock owned equals zero, stock price is 10, rounds left is eight, stock bought is zero, money equals 100, and value equals zero. And then we're gonna print, and when you use three double, three quotation marks, or you can use three single quotation marks, those will also work just like this. That means you can type across lines, so you don't have to use, um, you can type it like this, and that'll also affect it um, when it's printing. But if you just want to uh, change lines, you can use this escape character right here, and that'll do a new line for you. But if you don't need to do that, then you're good. After that, we're going to get into our main game loop. So we're going to start a while loop here. While rounds left is greater than zero, it's going to set the stock price to a random integer between 1 and 50. Then it's going to set value to stock owned times stock price. So that's basically your current stock value going to print this, how much stock you want to buy or sell, and this is going to be an F string right here, that's why we have an F in front of it right here, and that allows us to put our variables in curly brackets, so it'll put that variable for you right there in the thing, you don't have to, uh, that's how you can get the variable, so it's going to tell you your money, stock price, the value, uh, so how much stock you have, and the round remaining, uh, here's the escape character in action by the way. Stock bought equals input, so that means this is going to allow the player to input something. So this is how much they are they're going to buy. Stock bought, and then we're going to change it into an integer form of stock bought. And that's because when you use the input function, whatever someone puts in there is automatically a string type. So since we're going to do some math with stock bought, it needs to be an integer type for it to work. Next. We are going to subtract 1 from the rounds left by saying rounds left minus equals 1. Stock own equals stock own plus stock bought. Money equals money minus stock bought times the stock price. And money 1 equals money. And the reason I have two different variables for money, I believe, is because I wanted to be able to uh, put the amount of money we had up here or something and didn't like it so I had to have two variables for money for it to work. I think it was yeah here at the end or something like that. So yeah. And now if rounds left is the same as zero then it's going to check some things right down here. If money one is greater than 100 
which basically means you're going to make money off your original starting money of 100. So say you gained, and then however much money you have now, minus 100 to tell you how many dollars you actually gained in the game, and tell you that you're rich. And ELIF, which stands for else if, money one is less than 100. It's going to say you lost, and then 100 minus money one, tell you how many dollars you actually lost when uh, you made your investments and all that. Elif money one is the same as 100. It's going to say you didn't gain or lose any money. And actually, this doesn't need to be an F string. So you can just get rid of that. All right, guys, that is it for this program. If you did enjoy this video and it helped you, make sure to hit that like button down below, guys. And if you're new around here and you feel like sticking around my channel for a while, make sure to subscribe, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.